there YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Here we are on another job, another day. Uh, I actually don't, oh it's the 14th of October I think. I think it's the 14th of October. I'm not sure how I've remembered that but that's what we're doing. If you're new to the channel please click the like button and subscribe. It's really really appreciated. So what are we doing today? Well, this is a boxing in job. So a really straightforward thing that, that lots of you can do, but sometimes it's just not that simple to understand how to do it. But here you can see we've got a load of pipes. If you can look around the room, we've got a load of pipes coming down there and around. And what we're gonna do is essentially box, box those in and make them look neat and tidy. Um, other than unsightly pipes. Who, who likes unsightly pipes? Probably not many of you. So that's a really nice and simple job. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So enjoy. So we started to get the battening on. So it's just a case of having tools for the job, hammer, which I've got them in place, and Appropriate size screws. I'm using 50 mil screws for these and reds. Reds are really good. They're a good universal and you're going to get a really good fixing with this. So that's six mil. So if you're doing this, it's six mil, but some reds. So we need to get, we've got one in there already. So we start this holding and we just need to refix this to make sure this is really, really tight and, and, and nice and firm on the wall. So. you could be swapping over if you've only got one but it helps if you've got two because you can uh, you don't have to be swapping the bits out and then we're just banging that in screw in there We're just fixing to the wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a close-up of that and then you'll see it as it progresses. <laughs> Another thing to do when you're drilling in a hole, I uh, forgot to say, we have a, a, a plug here. So make sure you're not in, uh, you're not going to be drilling into cables. Now cables are either going to go vertical or horizontal. So, um, they could be running, but they're not going to be running down there. So they would be running along here, so we're not screwing into anything, and they would be running up there. If you've got some, if you find something that's doing that, it's it's, it's not building regs, and it's been <laughs> it's just been done really, really badly. So you will always, if you're thinking, where are, am I going to drill into anything? You can see generally see where pipes are going. So when you're drilling into a wall, cables are going that way and that way. Your electrics. You can see that the same effectively for pipes. You don't have pipes doing all of this sort of thing. They'll follow the horizontal or the diagonal or the uh, uh, um, up and down. <laughs> What's the word? Can't remember. So anyway, here we go. Vertical. Vertical. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see it. Right. Let me just get your plug, lock it in, get your screw on top, lock that in. When you feel some resistance, just stop banging it in. That's nice and tight, and then screw it up. Not going anywhere. Job done. So the key elements of boxing in, obviously you've got to get good fixings, but it's creating that, just that frame underneath uh, the boxing in. So that's really the important bit. The boxing in is easy if you get a really good fixing with your frame. So we've got the top, we've got the bottom, and then we're gonna have, we've got the top and the bottom, put my hand in there, and then we've got the, the front, uh, which in this case is quite straightforward because the two for one, 
will sit like that. So we have that along there and all the way along, then you'll create a really nice strong little boxing in frame. If I help you, so I'll put the camera in the right place. So there it will be. So you're gonna have that at various points in this particular thing. I mean, if you were building a boxing in up here, you put your boxing in, bring it out, build your frame, and then you box it in. So that's what you do. So we put the bottom part of the framing uh, two by one going on. So you can see that now it's fixed to the floor. Exactly the same. You just drill it in. Uh, we've gone around there. Had to leave, so because obviously you need to get, sorry. I'm falling over. So you've had to leave obviously space to get your hand in uh, for these. Uh, for your uh, your mains to turn the water off. So uh, I've made enough space to get your hand around there to do that easily. If ever an emergency happens and you need to turn your water off, there you go. And the that's the first part of the framing. Uh, now we're gonna build the, the fronts to it. So we just put the front pieces on, which is, that's all that's needed in this. It's just about how much, how far you're coming out. In this case, about 40, 45 mil. So the, the width of actually two pieces of two by one. So we just put the front frame so we can fix the front on. Uh, we'll come to that section in a second. And then you can see, just running around the wall, which will create a really nice, strong base. I didn't even, I just looked at the wall there, didn't I? Terrible at doing that. So we've got a nice strong base. Uh, I've just used uh, my nail, my second fix, nail gun, uh, just to fix in there and put a bit of glue on the bottom. So once that goes off, that'd be nice and solid. So that's what we've done. Okay, we've got a nice little simple boxing in here. So the simple, I've just put that, the, the batten, so that's nice and level. So we know that's level, I'll put it on. Helps if I get it there, there it's level. And then what we need to do now is put, set this height. So the simplest way to do that, instead of measuring in that, is just get your spirit level, the timber that you're gonna use. Put that on there. Make sure you're level on your level and just put a little line. That's gonna be perfect. And then, once we've got, then we can cut that at that height, because this is level, and that's the perfect height. There we go, now we know how quick, and it's a really quick and easy way to do that, just to set your level, to set your height, cut that, and then we'll fix that in, and then we can put a bar across the top, be perfectly in, perfectly at the right height. Right, so we're just getting the next bit in, we've got that piece high, so now we just wanna have that, uh, is at that angle, now we just want to make sure we're just going to cut a piece in there before because we want to secure this both ways which will just make life easier before we put this piece in so let's just measure that 14 14.8 i think you think <laughs> yeah 14.8 that's level. You only got to think, haven't you? Fourteen point eight. Let's cut a piece for that. <clears throat> As I've just been saying, thinking. I think that's what Pooh Bear does, doesn't he? <laughs> we need the poo. My thinking got it slightly wrong. Anyway, <laughs> only two mil. So I just cut another bit, just making sure that that is upright. That's level. That's plumb. All right, which it is. Uh, you'll have to trust me on that. So we can screw that together at a perfect right angle and that will go in at that point there. Look at that, it's perfect because we measured it there. All right, we'll just drill and screw this and then we'll put the piece across. So it's starting to form up. And there we have a nice little bit of uh, boxing in. So, well, framing anyway. You know, glued it on the joints. So now we're actually going to uh, put the MDF, cut the MDF uh, all to size. So that's a boxing in. As you can see, we've put all the MDF across. What I've done, you can come down here, you can see this. If you can come in here. So what I've done is I've uh, cut all these. These are all uh, used to nail gun. These are never, essentially never, I mean, if you need to remove these, that's when you're actually fully changing the pipes. But 
these are screwed because they need to get so I've left the screws exposed because they need to get in there to uh, for the turning the water off so that's the mains tap in there uh, to isolate uh, all the water in the, in the uh, property I've also just put a nice little router the uh, a quarter inch router a mold round there so it just finishes it off it overhangs it lips so it's it just makes it it looks better I mean it's about making can you make boxing in sexy as they say well I'm not sure because there's nothing very sexy about boxing in but it's you can actually do some really nice work and that's working with MDF so you can make it look actually like a sort of like a piece of furniture. That's what we've done. It's still boxing in, but it's not just a box. It's actually got uh, profiles and all sorts of things going around. So that's what we've done there. And that's boxing in, in essence. Um, I don't really know what more to say about it. As I said, it's not really sexy, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's boxing in. But that's, we're pleased. And importantly, the customer is very pleased. And that's all that matters, isn't it? So, thanks for watching. Um, really do appreciate it. As I said, look, if you're new to the channel, please click the like button. It's really, really appreciated. And it's actually quite important to me that you do click the like button if you watch. So please do. Please subscribe if you're new. It's a, I'd love to have you on board with the channel. And uh, I really appreciate your comments. So, if you wanted to do something like this, then... I'm sure you can do it. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So all there is for me to say is from me, Mark, at the Small Workshop Adventures, take care, everybody. Bye.